Hola hermosas, bienvenidos a mi canal, welcome back to my channel, thank you guys so much for being here. So today, finally, after like weeks of requests, and I don't know why I was so behind on this, like... You guys requested a tutorial on this makeup look that I did on my Instagram. You guys absolutely loved it. I got like reposted so many times from that makeup look, which like warms my heart so much because even if just a little page reposted, that still makes me super happy. So I needed to do this tutorial for you guys. I just changed up the colors. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. I had to change it up. You know, I'm going on a date tonight with Jose. We're celebrating our four year anniversary. So I wanted to do something a little bit more like smokier because we're going to like a really nice restaurant in downtown San Diego. So I was like, you know what? I got to pull out the blacks, the smoky colors. You know, I'm going to wear wearing all black. My hair is like crimped. So yeah, that is what today's video is about. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and subscribe down below as well and follow the rest of my social media links. And yeah, let's get into this sultry makeup tutorial. Makeup look, we're doing a smoky eye, and smoky eyes are always a little bit scary, but you kind of got to just like take your time, take it step by step. Uh, try different techniques because this is the best technique that I have found for smoky eyes to really make the color stand out and it's doing packing motions. So first I'm going to take this super tiny brush. This one is a Morphe B37. As you can see it's super tiny and this is what I'm going to kind of pack on our transition color which is going to be from the BH Cosmetics palette. As you can see, it's kind of just like a warm, natural color, like a warm, soft brown. And this one, we're going to be packing all over our crease area. We're not going to be blending it yet. We're literally just going to use this to stamp it on to our crease area. So see how it kind of looks crazy right now? It looks like we're unblended and just a mess. We're going to blend it out. So I'm going to take this super tiny blending brush. This is a Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. And this one is perfect because, I mean, it's like the mini version, but it's perfect because it'll fit right nicely there to kind of blend out that line. This one has no product on there. I'm just going to blend out the edges of this. And we're also going to do the packing motions, but this time I'm going to be taking this brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I think this is the number seven brush from the Marvel collection, but as you can see, it's a lot more fluffier. It's not as pointed as this one because, you know, this isn't going, we want this to be a little bit more blended since it is a dark color. So this one has a little bit of blend in it. I kind of just mix these top three colors together. So I took this one, this one, and a little bit of this one. So while we're doing this, I was watching the Dumbo trailer today. You guys, I cried so hard. Like, I've never cried so hard with just a trailer. It was horrible. I had to call Jose and be like, dude, I'm literally crying right now at a Dumbo, <laughs> Dumbo, Dumbo trailer. And I sent it to him and he was like, oh my God, like, I don't think we can watch it in theaters because I'm going to be crying so hard. It's just so sad. Like, even when I was a little girl, like, I couldn't watch that movie. Like, I remember my sisters and my cousins and everybody, like, loved to watch it. And I just could not handle it because I just, I get so emotional when it comes to, like, animals and them being in, like, a circus and anything like that. Like, I hate it. Oh, my God. And I swear that movie, like, it looks so good, the new one. And I, I want to watch it because it's, like, my childhood movie. But I just... I don't think I can handle it. On the same brush, I'm going to take the dark chocolate brown. I'm going to kind of mix two of them because the dark brown in this palette isn't the darkest, darkest brown. This is what it looks like. It, it doesn't come off as dark as I would want it to. So I had to mix it with another brown. I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette. Super cute. I love this palette. And I'm going to be using Dominatrix, which isn't a dark brown, but the pigmentation in it is really, really nicely. So when you mix both browns together you get a perfect combination of a dark brown with like some pigment to it if that makes sense so i'm just gonna take like this it's kind of like a harsh blending brush this is a sonia kashuk 
blending brush this is super old you guys but I like it because when I do dark colors I like to use kind of like a harsh one like this isn't really a soft bristle like it's you can feel it it, it kind of hurts a little bit when you apply it when you brush it on your hand but it's perfect for blending like dark shadows out and smoky eyes because you really just kind of like move the product around and swirl it so that is what we're going to be doing we're just going to blend this mess out <laughs> All right, we can go back to finish blending it later once we kind of see how everything's looking. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. This is the super important part. This is what makes it look nice and sharp when the line looks thicker. Like here, as you can see, I kind of have to refix it. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cut it because it has a nice white base to it. Well, at least the color that I use for my concealer is like a whiter base. But I totally recommend you guys get like a white primer or... Some type of like white concealer or like the Kat Von D one is pretty white just because that's going to make this white color that we have on our lid pop up even more when we already have a white base instead of using like a nude color. Okay, so don't worry about the edges of the cut crease because we're going to kind of blend that black. Oh my god, my eye just got so watery all of a sudden. Woo, okay. Chill. Okay, do you guys see how watery this is? I can't even tell. Woo, my god, my eyes were so watery. So we're going to go back in with that soft pink shade that we had to use at the very start. The one that I said was going to be the main focal point of this makeup look. And we are just going to pack it on. Pack it all over the cut crease part that we just did because it's going to make it look super white and bright, but it's going to add that like pink softness to it. You guys, I just realized I wasn't recording when I did the diagonal line and I was literally talking to myself this whole time. I always am when I record, but I was just talking to nobody and I'm sorry. So literally what I did, you guys, was I just took the brown shade and I literally just drew a diagonal line like this right there. I don't know why it wasn't recording. I'm so sorry, you guys. But anyways, like I was saying when I wasn't recording, it's going to look harsh. The line is going to look harsh and crazy, but it's okay because we're going to blend it out and just kind of keep reemphasizing blending like it's going to be. A process and then you can go back in with the white color or that pink color and kind of re-stamp it and refix it today I'm gonna to be applying the Lily lashes these are in the style San Diego hello where I'm from I love this style I also got the lashes in Atlanta which are also super cute they were having like a huge sale where these were only $11 I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes and I'll be right back I'm gonna be mixing two foundations today I'm gonna be mixing the Maybelline Superstay foundation and the Clinique 2-in-1 foundation I know I know I use the same foundations on all my videos I try to switch it out but if I find a good foundation that works for me doesn't make me look cakey doesn't make me look like a mugrero like I stick with it so I'm going to be using the shade 120 for the Maybelline one and in the shade 1 Linen for the Clinique one. I love the combination of these two foundations because one of them is super mattifying and the other one is hydrating. So it makes like the perfect mix, especially right now because my skin is really dry. And I just put a bunch of oils and all of this stuff on there to get it undry. But then I'm going to be oily, so that's why I use the Maybelline. Like, it's it's a weird system that I have for my face, but it works for me, so I just stick with it. So while we blend this out, let's cheese me out. What has been going on with you guys? How is life? Um, how's everybody holiday season so far? What are you guys going to do for Thanksgiving? I am so excited for Thanksgiving because my older sister is coming to visit from Michigan. That's where she lives right now, currently. And she's bringing our little puppy over. She's the one that takes care of him over there, DJ. Which I do want to film a video with him and introduce you guys to DJ because he is the best puppy in the world. Like, you guys know my little baby passed away um, earlier this March. And then a couple months later, we got DJ and it made life so much better, honestly. Like, he just makes us so freaking happy. And I don't remember how old he is exactly. <laughs> I think he's like five months right now. 
So he's in that crazy stage where he's just like learning to be himself and kind of like, oh my God, he chews on everything and eats everything. So I'm so excited for you guys to meet him. And then I'm also going to film a video with my sister. So there'll be a lot of content coming next week once my sister comes, but that's pretty much what we're doing for the holiday season. We're just going to have a chill Thanksgiving with our family and our friends. So let me know what y'all are doing because I want to know the cheese me. For blush, I'm just going to stick to the blush that's in the palette. I wanted to keep it with the, the mauve brown tones. So I'm going to be mixing two blushes together. I'm going to be mixing this one right here and this one right here. Kind of like when you mix them together, it makes like a mauve brown color. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks using this brush from Beach Cosmetics. It is the number three brush from the Rose Marble Collection. You guys, this blush brush, this isn't even for blush. Like, technically, the description for it on the website says it's for highlighting, which I feel like it might be too big to highlight unless you're trying to do, like, an all-over glow. But if you're doing blush, this brush is perfect because it just softens it out. Like, see how it looks so nice and, and soft and blended out? Like, I love this brush. So we're not going to be applying any highlighter, which I know sounds crazy, but for this makeup look, since we're kind of doing, like, a matte brush, fall soft makeup look not soft because we're doing a brown smoky eye but you know what i mean like we're doing matte tones so i'm not gonna be applying any highlighter like i loved how my skin looked just like this but just to add a little bit of radiance back into the skin i'm gonna be applying the wander beauty glow getter mist which is basically just like a glow spray and you just apply this and kind of just brings radiation back to your skin without having highlight and i kind of preferred it without the highlighter so we're just gonna use this All right, I'm gonna go finish off my hair and fix it because right now we got this going on. I'm gonna go do my hair and then we'll go do the lipstick and we'll finish off this makeup look, so I'll be right back. Last but not least, we're gonna apply our lip color. I'm gonna be using this nude shade. This one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and it is in the shade Hunty. I know in the original makeup look, I used the Stila Cosmetics, or no, where, where was it from? The Sleek Makeup like Metallic Lip Color, but that was when I did like more of like the softer version. I didn't really do like the more smoky version like this one because that one was more of like a pinky tone. So it's now that I did like the smoky version, I'm like, we gotta do a nude color. So I'm gonna go in with this one. All right, you guys, so this completes this makeup look. I hope you guys really liked it. I'm sticking to, like, the dark tones tonight. Like, since me and Jose are going on a romantic date, I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to do, like, dark fall vibes. I'm going to probably wear something black and, like, sultry. Like, those are the type of vibes I'm going for. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, por favor. Subscribe down below. Turn on the notification buttons. And let me know in the comments down below what other type of makeup looks or videos you guys want to see from me. Just let me know, and I'll do it for you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, hermosas.